welcome to this video so in this today's video we are going to create our own browser yes your own browser so let's just start creating our app so first of all we need to design the app so go to the design tab and there do whatever you like first of all we can insert an image you can search an image in google like something and you can search this image this kind of image and then you can put a text input and in this text input, the placeholder, you write what would you like to explore today. And you can write something else, also something attractive. That's a must. It should be attractive, other people won't search. And then in this button, just write down search. Then you can give the background color according to your needs. Like your favorite color, you can give. You can change the font family to your favorite one. You can change the font size to bigger, but it's fine for me. And now let's go to the coding part. So, first of all, we are creating a variable that is Google. Um, it's not actually Google, let's create variable search. Then we are creating not creating actually what we are putting on even that this one that when this button 2 is pressed when this button is pressed then what will happen then it is going to first of all let's write a code that this variable search is equal to this variable search is equal to get text i mean it will search whatever did the get it get the text from here with the user type so it will get the text from the text input too so this is the variable we have declared and then we are creating one more variable that is output and output is equal to this link www.google.com search plus search means it will search Google with this our name and then it will open the URL that is output with the variable which we have created. Let's run it. Like let's search Apple. Let's search Apple history. Search. Click continue. So see, it's coming. Apple history is coming. So this is how we have created successfully our own browser. 